welcome to How to Take the High Road, Vanquish Your Enemies, Damage Democracy, and Look Good Doing It, or The Federal Accountability Act Made Easy, the four sexiest words in the English language. <laughs> On December 12th this past year, Stephen Harper's government finally passed into law the Accountability Act. Now, this is more than a simple act, Canada. This, my friends, is Stephen Harper's commitment to Canadians to clean up government. And you know what? It even has his signature on it, so you know it's good. And how does one <laughs> clean up government exactly? Well, the first thing you gotta do is you gotta find a man who has the tact and the sensitivity to get the act passed. Enter Harper's Ontario Lieutenant John Baird. He's angry. The first thing the act did was go after the evil lobbyists. Now, the act said that if you work for a cabinet minister, you cannot work for a lobbyist for five years after you leave your job. Good job, John. But what kind of people would hire a lobbyist anyway? Well, all sorts of shady characters, such as the Canadian Cancer Society, those troublemakers at the Juvenile Diabetes Foundation, or the evil empire that is the United Church of Canada. <laughs> so who's affected by this ban? What type of person goes to work as a lobbyist? Well, generally, it's your typical 20-something who works on Parliament Hill, gets paid nothing, and the closest they ever get to a cabinet minister is when one of them happens to come by and throw a cup of hot coffee in their face. <laughs> it happens. They are out of luck. However, some people, they felt that this five-year ban was just a little too strict. I mean, you don't want to force people out of work. So Angry John, he amended the act and made an exception, stating that senior members of the Prime Minister's own transition team, people who know the Prime Minister, have worked directly with him, can work as corporate lobbyists and lobby the government directly. Coffee boy, he's still unemployed. A blow to liberal corruption. And speaking of liberal corruption, let's talk about the money. God forbid that you're just a regular Canadian. You wake up tomorrow morning and you say to yourself, you know what, I'm gonna sell that old Toyota out there in the driveway for 1,100 bucks. I'll go out and I'll buy a bus pass and give the rest of the money to those poor, deluded hippies over there at the Green Party of Canada. <laughs> well, you're not allowed. That's illegal. The maximum donation you can now make to a political party in Canada is $1 thousand dollars. Give one penny more and you can go to jail. So take that, people who like to support political parties. <laughs> Would all the countries in the world who have similar laws please raise your hands? Cuba, <laughs> China, <laughs> North Korea, and joining this axis of accountability, Canada. <laughs> but why? $1,000. Well, in December, liberals from all over Canada, they gathered in Montreal to choose a leader, and it cost $995 to go. And since the beginning of time in Canada, delegate fees to conventions have been considered political donations. So if the act passed as written, and say, Ken Dryden's wife had given $10 to the Liberal Party in 2006. The Accountability Act would have made it illegal for her to go to the Liberal Convention and vote for her husband, a husband who was a member of Team Canada in 1972 <laughs> and helped defeat the Russians. Canada, when this man said that he was gonna clean up government, did you want Ken Dryden's wife to end up in the joint? Well, that was the Tory plan until the Liberals, they pointed out that the Tories, they never counted the delegate fees from their convention, an oversight that the Chief Electoral Officer, Jean-Pierre Kingsley, no relation to Ben Kingsley, <laughs> declared illegal. He's since been fired. <laughs> However, it doesn't change the fact that some Tories who attended the convention and donated money to their party were in clear violation of the Accountability Act. So who broke the law? Who were the first people to sully this promise to clean up government? Oh no, say it ain't so. <laughs> angry junior and angry senior. Oops, they did it again. So what does the Accountability Act actually do? Well, it goes after those famous envelopes of cash. Because in the old days, under the corrupt liberal government, it was illegal for parties to accept cash donations over $25. Well, there is a new sheriff in town now, Canada. His name 
is Stephen Harper, and he has reduced that limit from $25 to $20. He cut it by five bucks. Five bucks, Canada. Now, this may not seem like a lot because, well, it's not. But it's a small price to pay to take the high road, vanquish your enemies, damage democracy, and look good doing it.